Hello everyone. Whether you are a student, a working professional or someone from a non-coding background and interested in developing your own app, then ChatGPT can help you cater your needs in developing this app. Today in this video, we are going to explore how to build a simple yet exciting rock paper scissors game app with a Python backend and a front end using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in all this, our coding partner will be ChatGPT and we will execute all the codes using an online editor called Riplet. Let's start by decoding the prompt and understanding how to give prompts for our desired task of developing an app. With ChatGPT, you can simply describe what you want to create and it will guide you through the process. You can ask ChatGPT to help you build a rock, paper, scissors game with specific technologies. Now let us see how to give the prompt to our chat GPT. I will start telling that I want to build a game app that is rock paper scissors. Let my backend be Python and frontend be HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I want to execute this on an online editor namely Riplet. So this is our instruction constraint because here I am telling chat GPT that I want to develop a rock paper scissors game where Python is my backend and HTML, CSS and JavaScript being my front end. So we are setting a context here. So this is all about what we want to develop. Next is I want this for the target audience of college students and it should be for early professionals as well. So let it be simple and easy to execute. So this is where I am setting my audience pattern and the overall context is set here. Then let the creation of this be very interactive and with simple explanation and a step by step process which helps me understand and create these easily. So this is our overall context that we are setting here. So I want it to be very interactive so that it will tell me what to do step wise. Then please help me connect both front end and back end codes easily and explain everything from scratch. So this is again an instruction. So this is my entire prompt which I want to give it to my chat GPT. So I will copy paste this prompt to my chat GPT here. So I will go to my chat GPT and I will give my prompt. If you want to know more about how to write these prompts in detail, you can take up a course from our great learning platform and it is prompt engineering. So now let us execute this prompt. When I give this prompt, so this is what ChatGPT gives me back. So sure, let's create an interactive rock, paper, scissor app using Flask at the back end and HTML, CSS, Java for the front end. Here it's giving me step by step guide to follow. So it is telling me to sign in or log in to replet.com. I will show you a demo of how the prompt decoding works in a moment. But first, let's go through the basic setup. For our front end, we are using HTML to structure our game, CSS to style it and JavaScript to add interactivity. HTML will help us create the grid for the rock, paper, scissors game. CSS will make it look appealing and JavaScript will handle the game logic such as detecting clicks and revealing winners. On the back end, we will be using Flask, a lightweight Python web framework. Flask will serve our front end files and handle the game logic on the server side. This setup allows us to build a fully functional web app with Python. We are going to use Riplet, an online code editor to run, write and test our code. Riplet makes it easy to collaborate and share your projects with others. Now I will walk you through the steps of building the rock, paper, scissors game. We will start by setting up the front end files, then move on to the back end with Flask and finally connect everything together. So here I can go to Google and I can log in into my Reflect account. I have already logged in. So you can create one account for your own. So this is my Reflect account. Next, it is telling me to create a new project. So it is telling me to 
click on the create button and choose flask as the template. So I can go and click on the create replet option here. I should select flask as an option that is your template. Now I have to give a title to it. So what can we give? We can give it as rock paper scissor game app. Okay. So now create replet. Now once you click on create, it will open a new page for us. So now here we will be copy pasting our code. So we'll see what is our next step. Our next step is to set up the backend that is Python with Flask. So we have to open main.py and copy this code. That is your Python code. So click on copy code here. Go to your replet. So this is our main.py. So here I am copy pasting my code which I have got it from chat GPT. Next, after this step, it is set, telling us the step three that is to set up the front end. So to set up the front end, we have to create templates folder first. So let me go back and I am in main pie now and here there is an option of new folder. So click on this new folder and name it as templates. Okay, now it is also telling me create a new folder named templates. Inside this folder, we have to create a file named index.html. So I'll copy the same name and I'll go back and here it is telling me file. So I will copy paste my HTML uh, file now. So I've created an index.html file. Now next after creating it, it is telling me to add HTML code. So I will just copy this code and I will paste it here in my HTML file that is index.html. Okay, we'll see what we have to do next. Next, it is telling me to create static folder. So I'll go back on the main.py, click on main.py, again create a new folder by name static. Okay. And inside that we have to create two files now. So one is style.css. I will name a file as static.css. So now, after naming my uh, one file name as CSS, other file name is script.js. I will create another file inside this by name script.js. I have created two files inside static folder now. So now I have to add CSS code. So I have to copy my CSS code and I will go to my CSS file and I will paste the code here. Next, next it is telling me to add the JavaScript code. So let me copy the JavaScript code from here and I will click on the JavaScript file and let me paste my code here. Next, we will see what it is telling. So step four is nothing but running the application on Riplet. So before we run in our, into our execution, let us see uh, the main gist of what these files are now. So this is the Python file where you are setting the actual context where it is actually playing rock, paper, scissors and all of that taking the input from the user. HTML file where it is used for structuring your code. So your entire web page will be set up using this HTML structure. Then is your CSS where you are styling your entire web page. And then is your JavaScript, which helps you to interactively connect everything on your code that you are developed. So now, uh, once you understand it just about it, it our, we will move on to our step four, that is your uh, running the application on Riplet. So to run, we have to just click the run button on top of the Riplet. Then you can access the game is what it is telling. So now I will go here and I will run. So when I run this code, you can see that you have got an output. So it is telling rock, paper, scissor. So if I click on rock, it will tell you chose rock, but computer also chose rock. So it is a tie. So when I click paper, you chose paper, but computer chose rock. So you win. So this is how you can get the output for a single player, computer being your another player. So now we will actually define our code. I mean, we will refine our code uh, using chat GPT better for two players. So I am just giving the prompt as rock, paper, scissors should be for two person game. 
So when I give this prompt here, again it will refine the code and it will give me the code. So simply we will copy paste all the codes of Python, HTML, CSS and Java from here on the same document that we have created. So copy the Python code, I will go here and I will paste it in my Python uh, file. So select all, select V. So I pasted it here. Now next let me copy HTML code. So copy code, go back to your replet in your HTML file. Let me paste the HTML code. Next it is giving me the CSS code. So copy the code, go back to your replet, go to your CSS file and paste your CSS code. Then go back to your chat GPT and copy your JavaScript code. Get back to our replet. Let me paste my JavaScript code. So after doing everything, let me run my project now. Right? So let me run. So when you click on your run button, again, you got your new output for two different players. So player one, let me choose rock and it is telling waiting for the other player. Player two, let me choose paper. So it will tell paper is the winner, right? So it will tell player two is the winner. Like this, you can test for n number of options. You will get the output as who is the winner in particular option or game. So this is how you can develop the app using ChatGPT. As we reach the end of this video, I hope you now have a clear understanding of how to develop a simple game app using ChatGPT, prompts and Python. The key takeaway is to break down the task into manageable steps and leverage the power of ChatGPT to guide you through each stage. So keep learning and refining your prompts as per your requirement and give your prompting and coding experience using ChatGPT in the comments below. Thank you for watching and happy coding.